All right, let's start part two. So one thing I just remembered is we forgot to edit the connector, just one little part. So I'm going to open that. And this back part of the extrusion, which we resized, is um, we forgot to change the extrusion. So go to Edit Feature and change that to 0.5 barely could see the change but uh, now your toy car should go together nicely alright so let's go ahead and start constraining this part with the front of your car so I'm going to head and hit apply so now that lines up almost. So what I'm going to do is I'm now going to use the flush tool. And I'm going to the constraint tool, the flush. I'm going to hit the side and this side here. Hit apply and rotate it down a little bit and flush that with the bottom and hit apply. All right, do something similar with the back part. So I'm going to constrain and mate the back part into the connector. Now you can see my back end's flipped upside down. You can tell the, the tail lights are up high and your line on the side doesn't match up. So I want to make the flush. First thing I want to flush is the bottom with the actual bottom of the car and then I'm going to just flush the side of the back end with the side of the car don't forget to hit apply a lot of times I mess that up so looking good alright let's use this mate tool and I want this trim right here to go on the top of our car. I'm going to hit apply. All right. And now I want to I'm going to kind of just pull it off slightly. And I want to constrain and I'm going to mate so I've got that one selected. The front to the front inside and hit apply. And we look like we're done, but if I hit escape, I can still move that away. So I am going to mate that side with the side of the car, hit apply. And the final thing we got to do is the um, the wheels. Now, if your car isn't looking like this, you may have to change the passenger section uh, because the hole uh, wasn't, may not have been correct. So check your notes there. So we've done a bunch with this mate constraint. Now we're going to move to the insert constraint. And we're going to use the opposed. And you want to make sure you're clicking on the small red circle. And then you can pick where the um, tire goes. So I hit apply. Now I'm on to the next one. I don't want to pick the big one. I want to pick the small one. Hit apply. Small one. Rotate it around. Hit apply. And then I want for the last one. Oh, you know what? Gosh darn it, I missed it. Wouldn't you know? Here we go. Opposed. Small part on the axle. With the hole. Hit apply. Look at that beautiful toy car. 
Good job. Save your work. Toy car, your initials. Hit save. Yes, I want to replace it. Gosh darn it, I can't. So you know what I usually do is I just add my middle initial. All right. Now it's saved. It looks great. Uh, I can even spin the wheels. Wheels work. All right. Everything is constrained. Good job.